Now you're a recording artist, vocalist, musician, producer, composer, and then there's there's dance in there somewhere. How how did this get into the there's, there's dance, there's acting, there's like performance art, there's I don't it's always been all of it. Hmm. Um and it's always been people telling me, well, you should concentrate on one or you're spreading yourself too thin or this or that. And it's also always been like, well, musical theater is perfect for you. You're the triple threat. And I'm just like, I just don't like the music. And I don't, honestly, I don't know how to sing like that. Mm -hmm. Like that whole belting thing where they're like just high and loud. And mm -hmm. I don't, that's, I can't do that. Yeah. I mean, I probably, if I really wanted to with, you know, years of vocal training and coaches, I, I'm sure I'd be able to, but like, I don't care about that type of singing that sound enough to put in that much work and effort into it. Mm. So musical theater is not the thing for me. So it makes more sense for me to do my own thing, make my own music and then make dance videos to it or whatever, mm. create visual videos where I can act or dance or whatever, and then just do entirely my own thing. Mm. Because otherwise when I, audition for other people's work I don't quite fit uh. <laughs> it's not that thing because people usually just look for the thing that's already commercially acceptable and appealing or whatever mm -hmm. and I'm always a little bit off from that like yeah. I can kind of do it because I am a part of society and I listen to and watch pop culture things happening around me right so, like I respond to it and know it enough from seeing it but I'm not ever quite that. <laughs> right, 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 right. So I basically almost have to do my own thing because mm -hmm. going to auditions or doing stuff that, you know, actors or singers or dancers do where they, you know, try to get signed or have a career or whatever, like, it, I, don't, I don't even like it. It doesn't really feel good because, like, somebody tells me, like, no, do it more like that. I'm like, I don't want to do it like that. <laughs> I do it this way for a reason. Mm. Like it took years to develop it and make it this way because that's what I yeah. I like. This is what I believe in. Mm -hmm. This is what I think it should be. Yeah. So just because you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so okay, so where where does it where this is a this is a, a brilliant way of seeing things, right? And like it's it's also kind of a front, though, because that makes it sound like I don't care that people don't like it or don't respond to it. That's not true. I have self-esteem issues and anxiety and everything else like everybody else. It's just that this is the point I always come back to. Mm. <laughs> you know, this is a point I can't really get away from because, you know, I'll do a couple auditions or whatever, feel like crap, and then I'm like... Why, why did I do that? I didn't even want to do that. Right. But just like being a part of this like machine, you feel like, okay, well, this is what people do, right. you know? And, right. and I always go back to just doing my own thing. Right. So if I can just, I'm basically, my life is training myself to like trust myself. <laughs> right on, right on, right on. And okay, so, and it, so, okay, so you make these videos. And are you like involved in the creative process of the videos as well, or? Um, it really depends. Like the the last like so far, I've only made like one official uh, music video to the album, mm -hmm. and that one, um, it was sparked by something a friend said. Um, he just said, "Oh, when I listen to the song, I imagine you in one of those." old school oval mirrors and I was like hmm, cool so like that's the kind of idea that sparked it and then I kind of thought about it and developed the idea so in the final video there is a mirror it's not the one we found it's not oval but it's a mirror <laughs> um, whatever and then once I told like the the guy who was video um, doing the video and the kind of the direction I was like these are my ideas and he's like okay and these are my ideas so it's kind of a, a collaborative process at that point um, and that's it. Okay. So um, I'm not like, I'm not overly controlling about the vision. If I trust the people I, I work with, 
you know, if I seen their work and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. If it's somebody I don't really trust, then I'll probably, but it's somebody that's like willing to work for me, maybe like for free. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, but I'm going to take kind of more control, but probably just don't move too much. Just put the video there. Cause I know it's good quality video. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right on, right so it just depends on. with like, I'm pretty flexible with the, with the whole creative process. It's more like what it needs to turn out as I'll, I'll, get it there but it's always kind of a different way i don't have like a set whatever okay and so did you were you always like uh seeing things this way were you like this as a kid did you have this vision for you know like where does it i always knew i was gonna be a performer but i grew up on a on a farm in poland in the middle of nowhere like you know we had cows and sheep and like the whole thing and land and grew our own potatoes and whatever. Mm. So in my head from watching a little bit of like TV and like music videos or whatever, like I knew that's what I was going to do mm -hmm. or, but it was a very different um, idea. I thought I was going to be more like a Madonna mm. <laughs> in my head. Um, and then I thought America looked more like what I watched in like, I think Dynasty or whatever was playing at the time. In Poland, things were a little bit a few years yeah. later. But <laughs> um, that was kind of my idea of what it was going to look like. Um, I didn't expect myself to go into the more experimental side of things. Yeah. Um, I thought like the kind of the, the pop world was for me, mm -hmm. you know, so that would have made me like eventually become like a Britney Spears type. Like mm -hmm. I really thought that was, that was more where I was going, but I just really like, especially in college, like I really got more into like, the experimental side of things. So even with dance, I was doing like modern experimental stuff, um, started doing, um, it was called Japanese Buto, which was like the dance of utter darkness. It's just the, oh yeah, yeah. The white and like painted white and like really weird shit like I really like that and I started reading a lot about um like experimental theater so like Grotowski and like just I don't know I I got into as I was like getting older past like puberty like my whole like thing kind of like changed like I don't I didn't really believe the perfect pop persona anymore like that didn't like resonate with me at all mm. you know I was just more like started going on this like search but then it's always there in the background so I feel like my stuff is like there's like weird experimental things that the pop people won't accept but then again it's not that experimental that the experimental community necessarily mm. wants it because it's a little I still love pop music like I love Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. I love like, you know, stuff that's just like can be polished and, mm -hmm. and, and somewhat popular culture, just like on the kind of outskirts of it. But I would say that Missy Elliott like uh, was experiments was how <laughs> dare you Hollis is. She's is a, killing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Yeah. Me. Yeah, and so, I would think she would fall into the category of experimental, like... Uh, yeah, but look at where she's at and how many millions of, you know, songs and videos and whatever. Like, she still did it in a way that's acceptable by the popular crowd. That she, um, she... <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think so. I think, I think she kind of came... I mean, I don't know what she was writing before like uh super duper fly came out right right this is already like an experimental video like and and even like the even the production style and the and the, i think a lot of this i mean it sounds very natural and now it sounds that way but i think at the time i think it was pretty experimental yeah I mean, she kind of, like, she did a lot of, like, guest appearances on people's tracks at first, mm -hmm. you know? She, she would do, like, a guest verse here and there. Mm -hmm. So enough for people to be like, who's that? 
Mm. But it was the entire song wasn't hers. So that kind of opened the door for her to be like, you know, um, adding some spice to somebody else's song, like mm. an artist that was more experienced. But I guess when I say experimental, like, I mean, like, all the way, like, performance art, weird things where people eat spaghetti on stage and you're like, what's, why? <laughs> you know, like, that's the kind of ah. was <laughs> into when I was in college, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm definitely, that's something I needed to do. But then, like, at this point, I'm like, I don't really want to do experimental for the sake of experimental if I do experimental I still want to create something majestic all right, all right. <laughs> think about it like I don't know why I think about it um as a cathedral mm. I've always had like this um this like connection to like cathedrals because they're just so like beautiful and solid and like so much construction and so much stuff went into it, but there's always like the uh -oh. decorated. There's all we got. We, we got. We got. We froze for a second. You you had your hands like this. The cathedral. Cathedral. Stained glass. Stained glass. So like, there's just something that like when I think about like the work I want to create, I I don't think I'm creating it yet. But this idea of my ideal work that it's going to be music and dance and theater and video and human but also like the digital and electronic and whatever it's going to come I see it as a cathedral oh. <laughs> and like so it's solid it has a foundation of things that came before that I understand um but you build it up and it goes up pretty high so reaching towards things that I haven't done before the stained glass like when you're on the inside of it it looks different from the outside you know with the light coming in, it's affected by the environment and things around it. Um, that's just kind of how I picture the great work I want to do. I don't really know what it is exactly yet, but I see it as a cathedral. All right, all right. So, okay, so now a this, little, huh? So a little weird. Uh, it's a little weird. You know, because <laughs> not weird is, is not necessarily that much fun, right? I yeah, know it's not at all. So, so, okay, so...